Okay, so this will be quite a short video just to bring to your attention. I was sent this uh, screenshot by a viewer. This is not mine, so I will just read it. He has been pawned. Yay! I mean, yay in a bad way. On May 2nd, 2024, the Post Millennial, uh, it's I think a news outlet or, outlet or website or something like that, got hacked. And the number of accounts breached on it are 56,973,345. I had no idea a site could even have these many numbers, and I have never heard of that site. But hey, probably some of you know what it is exactly, and uh, if you have any kind of affiliation with this site, whether it's a, I don't know, an account or whatnot, please take measures to make sure that you are not gonna be having your stuff just, you know, navigating on the deep dark seas somewhere out there. And uh, what has been compromised here? Email address, gender, IP address, name, password, phone number, physical address, and username. It's quite a big deal when it comes to phone number tied to a physical address because now you become a target to bad actors unfortunately a lot of times and uh, let me read the description really quick for you so we see what's going on in may 2024 the conservative news website the post millennial suffered a data breach the breach resulted in the in the defacement of the website and links posted to three different corpuses of data including hundreds of writers and editors such as IPs, physical address, and emails exposed. Tens of thousands of subscribers uh, to the site uh, got breached their name, email, username, phone, and plain text passwords exposed. So I highly suggest even if you for once visited this website, remember if you entered an email on it and a password, go change the password to that email, not just on the website, is that train is gone but the password to that email you use to register on this website or to get their updates or however it works with this because i'm not really bad that uh in tuned when it comes to news sites i'm not really a big fan so i don't know too much about them i'm just telling you from a security perspective that is the first thing i would do right away change the password to that email and tense of millions of email addresses from thousands of mailing lists so if you are in the mail mailing list please just go ahead and change the password to that email immediately alleged to have been used by the post millennial this has not been independently verified but you know where, where, where there is smoke there is fire the mailing list appeared to be sourced from various campaigns not necessarily run by the post millennial and contain a variety of different personal attributes, uh, including name, phone, physical address, which is quite a lot. The data was subsequently posted to a popular hacking forum and extensively torrented. That means this information is on probably millions of hands right now. And we're talking about plain text passwords next to emails and though both those together next to your IP address and your physical home address that you registered with i cannot stress it enough how important it is right now if you ever touch this website in any way shape or form just to make sure to be on the safe side go change the email to, uh, the password to your email immediately now regarding ip address well i guess you can restart your router you will refresh some of the ips and next time use a vpn I know we get bashed a lot in the whole tech world that, oh, we shill for VPNs and all that. Trust me, a VPN will cover you when you seriously need it. Right here, for example, your IP would not, would not have been associated with any of this. Yeah, now, I mean, it's, it's bad enough to have your phone number and physical address and all that leak, but at least you wouldn't have had an IP address so they can hunt you down. And by hunt down, I mean mostly it's going to be scammers, spammers, telemarketers, that kind of stuff. You know, the bottom of the barrel. But sometimes, depending on who you are, this stuff here could turn, God forbid, I'm not going to say the word. It can turn really serious and really bad. So just take this very serious if you have ever touched the post millennial now i'm not gonna open the website i just <laughs> out of security concerns i'm not gonna open that website on this uh 
machine even though i would like just to see what what does it have but based on the looks of it it seems to be just a news website which thankfully i never really go to those things but hey you do you you like to get your news from wherever you get them that is completely understandable and normal. There is nothing to be ashamed of. These things happen to even bigger companies than a website. Trust me on that. We're talking about even mega banks and mega corporations had this happen. And yes, yours truly had his phone number and all that good stuff leaked on a data breach uh, back in 2021, if I'm not wrong, uh, on T-Mobile. Yeah, T-Mobile got hacked and included my number and all that stuff got went to the wilderness and you know how that goes thankfully i managed to change a few things and change social security and all that stuff just to make sure because yes even the social security numbers were actually breached on that one and since then i no longer go with the big carriers always go with mvnos because you don't need to put a social security number and a real address that is Quite a big concern for me. I know a lot of you probably might say that, well, but they need that information to know this and that. No, no, absolutely. They do not need that. You know, if the police need anything from me, they have my number, they can triangulate it. They can, they have a million ways to find that out. You don't need to give too much information to a corporation that might have your data breached in a month. And it's not a fault of their own, huh? I, I don't want to get into that, but it most of the time, it's really not their fault. But things happen. Hackers are always trying to find holes that have not been patched yet. That is their job. And hopefully, most of the time, this stuff gets caught by the white hats that will do pen testing and all that stuff that will find these holes and patch them on behalf of the company or the public but a lot of times unfortunately especially recently we're having a lot of patches breached themselves not just new holes so yeah just be safe out there the internet is not exactly a playground and no i'm not trying to scare you i'm not trying to make you run away from the internet because you can't well you kind of can but you get my point instead of running away from the problem be tough against the problem and patch the leak in air that's all you can do you know just the problem pushes on you you push twice back that's how you live and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and uh yeah if you need a suggestion for a vpn i am not paid by them by the way i make zero dime zero i mean zero dimes not even a month for free from them but i will go ahead and suggest expressvpn that is what i have used myself for years and that's what i'm still using to this day so yeah that's how it works and we'll see you next time please like and subscribe and share it with someone that you might think they actually have been uh, touched by this breach because you will not always get a nice email from uh, have i been pawned website but the viewer was a subscriber to have i been pawned and he got notified in real time, even though I'm uploading this video a little bit later, a few days, but still the data breach is out there. We'll see you next time. Bye.